Om. Om. Hello, this is Ron Clark bringing you Lesson 7 in the Magic of Yodhe Bhavhe Adonai. Today's lesson is called The Blessing of Yodhe Bhavhe Adonai. This is the last ritual I will be teaching you for TMO. It's a very significant ritual and a very intimate ritual. So the first thing you must do is decide upon someone that you wish to give the blessing to. Now, this is someone that you must be very familiar with and fairly intimate with because the ritual itself is very intimate and uh, creates a connection between you and the person you are conferring the blessing on. So be careful who you choose. I, for example, am choosing a friend who uh, asked for a blessing some time ago and I promised to give him one and now is the time. Um, he's a, a practitioner of TMO, a student of initiation into hermetics and someone that I trust and someone that I believe has a high character. So these are sort of the basics of who you would do a blessing for. You don't do a blessing for just anybody. It has to be someone that you trust, um, someone that you believe in. So, um, one thing I want to talk about before I begin the description of the ritual. Um, when we send the energy out with Rabona Shalom, I say you send it to the metaphorical edges of the universe. Ordinarily, we think of that as just outward from us in the physical universe. But the universe is much bigger than that. We are sending it out in the physical universe to cover everything within the physical universe. But we are also sending it inward, so to speak, because we send it with our physical body, we send it with our Tiferet self to all of Tiferet, all the individual selves in the universe, we also send it out at the Bina level, at the Chokma level, and at the Kather level. So the, the Rabono Shalom sends it outward in all these different directions, sort of internally. So it, it goes outward and it comes upward within us all the way to Kather. And similarly, the, the same levels in everything in the universe, because everything is patterned on the same structure. So we send the Rabona Shalom out, the Adonai light, out through the entire structure of the universe and all these different levels. Okay? That's an important thing, because in this ritual it's especially important. Now, the, the blessing ritual starts out with an accumulation of the Adonai light, um, exactly like in our last ritual, the healing ritual. So once we have accumulated the Adonai light, we are going to impregnate it with the idea of conferring a blessing upon the person we have chosen. And we send it out through all the layers, all the levels of the universe, internally and externally, and we touch upon that person as we go out. And then it comes back and it rebounds upon the person. So we are standing then right next to the person we're going to confer the blessing on. Now, we instruct the Adonai light to surround us and this other person together. We are both in the surrounding, the swirl of Adonai light together. And once we have that going, we perform TMO with the other person. So when we say Ani, we ignite our Kether, we simultaneously ignite the Kether of the person we're blessing. And then we do the, the Chokmah, we ignite our own Hakma and of the person we are blessing. And with Bina, 
our Bina and of the person we're blessing, Tiferet, our Tiferet and the person we're blessing, Malkuth, of ourself and of the person we're blessing. So we're doing this double TMO together with this person. And then we have the Adonai and we raise the Adonai light. And as with the healing ritual, we let it accumulate before we say the Rabbono Shalom. We let it grow really strongly. Then with the Rabbono Shalom, we send this Adonai light which surrounds us both out into the universe for the blessing. And we touch the edges of the universe. And that's where we receive the blessing on the Adonai light. Is it the metaphorical edges of the universe? In other words, we have spread it out throughout the entire universe. Then we draw it back in, and we draw it back in just around the person we're blessing. We don't include ourselves in this drawing back. So we bring the light back on the rebound with the Amen, and it surrounds this person. And that's the end of the ritual. We come back to our physical self. So, it's fairly simple, but it's also very involved. And as I say, it's very intimate ritual. So, be careful who you're blessing. Okay? Let's begin. Ani. We have our Kether. Yon. We have our Hokma. Hey. We have our Bina. Vav. We have our Tiferet. Hey. We have our Malkuth Adonai. Now, let the Adonai life flow keeping that internal connection going, keeping on top of it, keep the connection flowing, and we generate a huge collection of Adonai light surrounding us. Now, we're going to say the Rabbon of Shalom. We're going to say it with the intention of blessing our friend. Okay, let's, let's go. Rabbon of Shalom. As it passes outward, we touch upon the person we're blessing, and it follows inward as well. It comes all the way up to our kether when it reaches the edge of the universe. And now for the rebound. Amen. We find that person, and we stand right next to them. The Adonai light is flowing around us may be easiest in doing this if you stand behind the person you are blessing. Okay, now we're going to form, perform TMO with us and them together. Ani! So we ignite our kether and their kether. We see it glowing. We see it there, the eye. Yod! Okay, now we have our Hokma and they have their Hokma. Two Hokmas resonating together. Hey, we have our Bina and they have their Bina. Two Binas resonating together. Vav, we have our Tiferet and their Tiferet. Two Tiferet resonating together. Hey, we have our Malkuth and their Malkuth resonating together. Adonai, the Adonai light erupts around both of us together. We are one together and we let the Adonai light build together. Oh, holding that connection from all the levels simultaneously in us and in them holding it strongly together okay now we're going to send it with the ribono and we're going to impress upon this that it is going to bless them ribono shalom spreads outward 
and it simultaneously spreads inward in both of us, reaches the edges of the universe, and it comes back upon them only. Amen. Okay, we see them before us, completely surrounded by the Adonai light. It has touched them from Malkuth to Kether, and it blesses them. Okay, now we return to our own physical self, leaving the Adonai light surrounding them, blessing them. Yes, we come back to ourselves. And we let go of our visualizations and then return to normal awareness. Okay, so that's the blessing ritual. It's the most advanced of all the TMO rituals, to date at least. Uh, next lessons will be on different forms of the ritual. So, until next time, bye-bye. Oh.